Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today I've got a product from AAXA. This is AAXA's LED Pico Plus Mini Projector. Now, it does have a built-in battery that'll get you up to about two hours of playback time before it needs to be plugged in. Uh, it does have wireless screen mirroring built into this, as well as a mini HDMI output. We're going to dig into this now, and I'll be right back. Okay, so let's take a look at the LED Pico Plus from AAXA. Uh, this is a native 720p mini Pico projector. And when they say it's a mini projector, this thing is a pocketable projector. Uh, it's very, very small and compact, as you'll see in just a moment. Now they give you a thank you card here. And of course, they give you a user guide for the LED Pico Plus. Uh, this goes over everything from all of your button assignments and inputs uh, to uh, how to use a wireless uh, mirroring for iOS or Android, what comes in the box, uh, using your uh, throw distance and focus adjustment here, you can get up to a 60 inch screen depending on how far away you are. Uh, so this has a ton of uh, information in it uh, just to kind of get you around and familiar with the device. So hold on to this just in case you need it. Now there are some specifications here and I will leave these up uh, so that you can see what the specs are on this. And if you need to come back, uh, if I miss anything, you can come back to this point in the video and check it out. Now again, this is a native 720p, but it does support 1080p playback. Uh, this is the size of the projector. We're gonna put it to the side for a second. Now you do give us some extras here in the uh, bottom that I want to go over as well. Uh, these are cables that you will be using uh, to connect various devices uh, to this Pico projector. Now first, they give you a mini HDMI to a regular HDMI cable, and this is going to be to hook up any HDMI device, such as a console, a game console, laptop, or PC. They also give you an AV cable. So if you have older legacy devices that use the yellow for video and red and white for audio, you can hook that in as well. They also give you a charge cable. It's a standard USB type A to USB type C, and this will recharge the battery that's in the uh, Pico Plus. And uh, you can get about two hours of uh, usage before you have to uh, plug it back in. You can also use it plugged in as well. I have, and I've had no problems. They give you a tripod here, and this tripod's made out of metal, uh, which is interesting. It's very sturdy, uh, very bendable, so that you can get it in a different uh, positions, depending on where you want to uh, actually set this up. It's got your standard thread on the top. And now let's take a look at the actual projector. This is a, the way I would describe it, small but mighty Pico projector. You can see on the top here, you've got a little knob here, and this is for uh, your focus ring. You do have a built-in speaker as well. Uh, you have a back button, power button, and directional and OK buttons right on the top. On the right-hand side, you're going to have an SD card slot for media. On the back, you're going to have a 3.5 millimeter output jack, an AV input jack, that mini HDMI to HDMI, and then some LEDs, a red and a green. Green for power, red for charging. On this side, you're gonna have a full USB type A port, and you're gonna have a USB type C port for charging or powering the device. Then you've got your standard threading here for the tripod connection. You can use the one that they give you, or you can use your own. Let's uh, put the tripod on here, and you can see that, it, again, the legs are made out of metal, and it is very bendable and poseable to get that right uh, setting or angle that you need for whatever you're projecting on. Let's move on to the main menu and see it in action. Okay, so this is the main menu here, and you can see that we've got uh, a few different selections, such as videos, photos, uh, inputs for changing to AV or to a mini HDMI to HDMI, mirroring for screen mirroring for iOS and for Android, and settings. 
Uh, and since it doesn't have a remote, I'm actually pressing on it. So if you see it kind of jump here and there, it's just because I'm pressing on the top of it. Now we have standard and eco for brightness. Now eco might be good for you if you're going to be running it solely on battery power. Uh, but if you have it plugged in, you can just leave it on standard. In options, we've got OSD language here, uh, our aspect ratio, uh, your reset, uh, software update via USB, and our rotation as well if you're going to mount this kind of hang it upside down or something like that. You have those options as well. Now going back to the settings menu, we do have sound here. So we're going to move on over to sound and you're going to see that we have a few different things. In user, you can adjust the treble, the bass, the balance, or have audio auto volume on or off. You can also set up some of the default ones such as sports, music, and movies. Uh, so we do have those options there as well. Now in picture, it's going to be a lot of the same. Uh, you're going to have some modes here, uh, user, uh, where the, color, the contrast, brightness, color, tint, and sharpness, uh, t color temperature, and noise reduction can be uh, adjusted here as well. As other modes as well as mild, standard, and dynamic as well. Uh, so you can use those if you would like to. Uh, and you can change all of these values uh, to your liking in picture. Okay, so that about covers it for the settings menu. Again, this is native uh, 720p, but will play back uh, other files uh, 1080p supported. Uh, so you do have that as well. Uh, you can go into mirroring here, and you can either do it for iOS, iPhone compatible, or Android Miracast compatible. So I'm going to go to Android because I have an S23 Ultra, and that's what I'm going to be using today uh, to get this set up. So it's going to uh, say ready at the top for connecting uh, to launch Miracast on my phone. I'm going to use Smart View because I have a Samsung phone. And this process will take just a few seconds for the phone to connect. There we go. We've got my phone screen up here. I'm going to rotate it into landscape mode and we can go through and we can swipe through back through everything that we need to. Uh, I can scroll through everything. It looks nice. There is a little tiny bit of delay, but nothing major. Uh, but it's scrolling is super smooth. As you can see, I'm scrolling through the news here. And of course, if I want to go to YouTube and I want to watch something, say on my channel, I can certainly do that as well. So you can see that the picture is excellent even when uh, mirroring through a phone or a tablet or a uh, you know a wireless device either be iOS or Android super bright picture on this again I described the Pico Plus as small but mighty you get a lot of brightness out of this little unit uh, the speakers are a little bit on the lower side but can be augmented by plugging in a 3.5 millimeter uh, headphones or external speakers. As far as local playback goes, we can go into videos and then we'll go into the C drive, which is my USB thumb drive. And we're going to go over to a uh, file here that I have on this. Uh, it's called Fortnite Test. Uh, and we're going to play this for you so that you can check it out for yourself.
I do apologize for some of the blurry images that you're getting. The Pico Plus is so bright in certain situations that it's hard for my camera to totally focus on it, uh, which says a lot for, again, such a small unit to have such high levels of brightness is not usually what I see. Uh, the color representation on this as well is also really good. So this would make a really good gaming projector. Uh, and also for movies, if you're going to watch movies, uh, again, with that built-in uh, two-hour battery, you should be able to get a movie in on battery power if you want to. And of course, you can always run it plugged in as well uh, to extend that time. But overall, it's got very good colors and very good brightness for this setup. So there you go, that's my review of the AAXA Technologies LED Pico Plus. This, again, small but mighty, can fit in your front jeans pocket uh, and last up to two hours on its battery. It is native 720p, but it will support 1080p as you saw in the demonstration. What really makes this stand out for me is the brightness on this. For such a small unit, this has incredibly bright images as you saw in my video demonstration. Uh, it's got good color representation too. It's going to make it good for games and especially for movies on the go, you will get about two or maybe even a little bit over two hours of usage on this before you have to plug it back in. Uh, you can get through a movie, uh, but you can plug it in while you're using it as well, so you don't have to worry about that too much. This was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. I hope you enjoyed my review, and I'll check you guys out on the next one.